So when you're, want, when you're looking for the value of C, again, we're just going to do the exact same process I did before. You're going to take B, divide it by 2, and square it. So B, in this case, is going to be 5. So I have 5 divided by 2 and square it. Unfortunately, though, though 2 does not evenly divide into 5, correct? So please do not give me the decimal version. Just leave it as a fraction. So 5 divided by 2, when you're squaring that, that's basically 5 halves times 5 halves, which is our question. The understanding of everything. Again, we're not, I'm not going to go over in today. This is basically just a skill that I want you guys to practice in preparation for tomorrow or for next class period, which I'll explain more of the b divided by 2 and all that kind of stuff. Okay. Um, so right now, I just want you guys to practice. Just If you guys can just remember b divided by 2, and as far as explaining and understanding, it will make a whole bunch of sense to next class period when I actually go through a problem doing this. So you're going to take 5 divided by 2 and squared. So 5 halves squared would be 5 halves times 5 halves, which is 25 over 4. So I'm simply just going to do x squared plus 5x plus 25 over 4. Does everybody see that? That's it. That's all I need you guys to do. However, if you're going to write that in the expanded or in the factor form, Remember, it's x plus b divided by 2 squared. So what was b divided by 2? 5 halves, right? So your factored form would be x plus 5 halves squared. And that's it. Yes.